What's up, it's your boy Remus, and we're back on the superior code, but maybe you can call this the medical code, because we're talking about, wait, wrong one. We're talking about what we learned from this book called COVID-19. That's a review for another day. Um, but in particular, we're going to be speaking today about what actually makes COVID-19 dangerous. Because, of course, you know, with the media and stuff, manipulating stuff, they will give you the truth, but it, all, it will always be biased, screwed. It will be a perception that isn't totally... Even if they give you the truth, they give it to you from an angle which isn't totally the truth, right? Um, and as we know, COVID is blown out of proportion, but at the same time, it does have, of course, vast <clears throat> consequences for certain types of people and in certain circumstances. So we have to be re realistic on the other side and say what actually is dangerous about it. Now, what I learned from this book is what actually does make COVID-19 dangerous. So we will say this, right? <clears throat> uh, corona has been about for uh, a long time. It's been about for thousands of years, actually, in the form of other, in other animals. In terms of it being in uh, humans, it's been about in 19, from 1960. Um, then there was the first out outbreak in 2002. And then up to now is the third form. Uh, yeah, the third form of it, which is SARS-CoV-2, which causes the disease COVID-19. Um, and what makes this one particularly dangerous, we're going to start off by saying this, is that it's mainly dangerous... Actually, no, well, let's say this. This is how co uh, the coronavirus works. It has certain spikes attached to it, right, which is why it's given the name coronavirus because corona means crown. So it's basically saying crown virus because the spikes have a crown and they um, slot into, like, like a key, it slots into our cells in almost a perfect way. So it opens up the cell, the virus enters the cell extremely quickly and extremely easily and and because it's done so easily, this is like in simple terms, because it's done so easily, it's, it happens so quick that your body doesn't notice that it's been infiltrated until like two or three days later. So that's why they say you don't have a lot of symptoms for the first three days and then after that you start to feel it. But by that time you could have spread it. So that's one of the dangers. When you have it, you could be spreading it before you even realize you had it because the the virus is so sneaky it goes into your body and into the cells before your body realizes or before your immune system realizes oh snap there's something in here we have to get rid of it so once it enters the cell um it's, of course it starts manipulating manipulating it right now um what well, yeah okay so now we go on to the next point of um when you don't know that you have it and you're spreading it, the risk is that you could be spreading it to the people who are vulnerable. Now, the people who are vulnerable are actually, it's not everyone. Everyone with a healthy immune system isn't, vul uh, isn't vulnerable. You're pretty much safe, right? But if you are an older person or you're a person um, with pre-existing conditions, then what will happen is um, you're very much at risk of like going into the ICU or even dying and stuff like that. But in general, for most people, it's not actually that dangerous, especially if you're young, you're healthy, you're fit and all of these things. And this is why it's crazy that people aren't being um, encouraged to be more healthy. Um, instead, we're told to stay home, but actually you're supposed to go out um, because of the fact that the more you go out, the, the more you're going to be uh, mentally feeling better you're going to reduce stress you're also going to exercise more so this creates a, a much better stable environment for your body to pick off the the virus in time so in conclusion the virus isn't dangerous for most people but it is like there is a reality where for some people because of the speed in which it moves it is dangerous because it goes in it unlocks that cell goes in um starts multiplying very quickly and it can multiply even quicker than most viruses because no no white blood cells are there to fight it at first so um yeah we we we, we want to give both sides we don't want to be biased we want to look at both sides of course politicians and media try to sway you on one side um by getting you scared but at least 
But we also don't want to be too far on the other side where, where we say, oh, there's no reason to be scared. We want to be fair. We want to be truthful and we want to be unbiased. So I hope this video helped you understand what are some of the dangers of COVID-19 and why it is dangerous. And in a future video, we'll talk about, you know, the other side, why it's not dangerous.